Hey guys, you are here with my channel that is economics at a glance. So guys, I feel you found useful the first part of MCQ. So here we will start the second part of the MCQ that is MCQ regarding the chapter demand and supply. So let's get started guys. Okay, before moving to the video, let me tell you, you can follow me in Facebook, Instagram and Telegram through this following links. Let's get started guys. Okay, first one. The demand of, sorry, the law of demand is based on what? Okay, well, I have told you all the basic law of economics are dependent upon the law, that is law of diminishing marginal utility. So here is your answer. Next one is the cross demand curve for complement is convex, concave, parabola or horizontal. See. When let's say in complement example that is uh, bread and butter, okay, the price of butter when increases, what happened? We will decrease the quantity of butter. When the quantity demand of butter will decrease, the quantity demand of bread will also decrease. That means there is negative relationship between the price of butter and quantity demanded of bread. That's why the answer will be convex. Okay, why? Because negative relationship. See the next question. The cross demand curve for substitute. See, in complement there is negative relationship. So, in case of substitute it will be positive relationship. So, the curve will be concave. If still you have any doubt, take a good example. Apply the relationship. If it is not suitable, then mention in the comment box. I will solve your problem. Okay. So, moving to the next question. In which of the case there is no shift in demand okay see contraction increase decrease in demand well increase in demand decrease in demand they are the two types of shift in demand so our answer will be here contraction in demand why because it is a movement in the demand curve not shift in the demand curve okay next question see as the price of commodity increases demand for it well, when price increases, demand decreases, but here price is concerned, that means it will be contraction. Why? Because when price changes, there will be movement, rather shift. Next, see, for which of the following there is a composite demand, that means one product having so many demand for different, different areas. So the answer will be coal. Because tea, coffee we are using for a particular purpose. But coal we are using for various purpose. So it is a composite demand. Clear? Next. The demand for agricultural labor is dash. Well, see. Why we uh, demand labor? We demand labor because our demand is to have production. Okay? We are demanding the labor so that we can get production. So it is a derived demand, not direct demand. It is derived demand or indirect demand. Okay? Next question is, the individual's demand for a commodity is increased in response to the increase in purchases by other consumer. That means you will behave depending upon the behavior of other person. This is called bandwagon effect. Okay, this is very important question. Remember, your behavior is reflected from the behavior of another person. That is bandwagon effect. Okay, next question is in case of perfectly elastic demand, the shape of demand curve is parallel to x-axis. This thing I have already discussed in the numerical of elasticity. Okay, next is also from elasticity. See, the price elasticity of demand in general ranges from, we all know that it is 0 to 1. Okay, next one. See, in which case supply curve shifts toward right side. See, supply curve shifts toward right side means it will be an increase. And shift is two types, increase or decrease. Right side means it will be increase in supply. Okay. Next is stock is equals to supply in case of, see, in case of perishable goods, what happened? We cannot make a stock up to large period of time. Whatever stock we have to supply immediately because it will be rotten. Yes or no? So in case of perishable goods, stock is equals to supply. But in case of durable goods, it will be not equal. Next question. See, scarcity guarantees that what scarcity will guarantee? See, scarcity will guarantee that 
the want will exceed the demand when there is scarcity it will guarantee that your wants will exceed your demand next question c inferior goods are those goods for which demand increases as c as i have already told inferior good is a kind of related through the determinant of income so what happens here when inferior good are those goods whose demand increases as income decreases always in case of in inferior good you will focus on the determinant that is income okay next question is when the quantity demanded equals to quantity supplied well this is the stage of market equilibrium i have just discussed okay next question a surplus occurs when the price is okay surplus scarcity situation i have covered in the market equilibrium lecture so what happens here surplus occur when the price is greater than equilibrium price when the price is greater what happened in that case our supply will be more than demand that's why surplus occurs okay next question the price of a good will fall if if what happens if surplus at current price what happened we are in that lecture we have told see when the surplus situation occur to maintain the situation to equilibrium we need to decrease the price so when the surplus occurs what happens the price of the good will fall okay next question when supply decreases and demand does not change okay demand is at such but supply decreases what happens to the equilibrium quantity see equilibrium quantity will decrease but the price rises draw the diagram if you cannot understand still mention in the comment box i will get to you okay next is which of the following definitely causes a fall in equilibrium price the answer is decrease in demand combined with increase in supply okay this is the condition when we decrease the demand and increase the supply this is the situation which will cause a fall in equilibrium price again i'm saying draw the diagram if you face any difficulty mention in the comment box i will help you don't worry next question is the law of demand states that the quantity of good demanded varies this is very easy quantity of the demand varies inversely with price directly with population and directly with income well all of these are correct so the answer will be all of the above clear next question c 47 number that is which of the following refers to a joint supply joint supply means c here question the answers are grain straw light both or non here the answer will be light why joint supply because light is used for various purposes so here it is a joint supply okay then supply is greater than or smaller than stock in case of that means supply is not equals to stock i have just told you that it is in the case of durable goods but here what happens in the answer the options durable goods are there machinery is also there but machinery is a durable good so the answer will be both a and c okay next question is law of demand and supply is a dash statement well let me tell you it is a qualitative statement because it depends upon the behavior of the customer so here it is a qualitative statement okay coming to the next question in case of unitary elasticity of supply elasticity value is equals to 1 we have already discussed this then when the quantity supplied is lesser than the quantity demanded this is obviously a situation of scarcity which we have covered in the market equilibrium chapters so this is all about the mcqs regarding demand and supply chapter in my next video i will come with some different topics of microeconomics till then don't forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you